Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Business Mathematics. We are not our ninth week. And for week nine, our topic is depreciation average method. So for this week, we will explain the concept of depreciation. Also, we would uh, we will sam summarize how a company would determine the appropriate depreciation method to use and also differentiate between straight line service hour and units of production of calculating depreciation so for this uh, week and for this topic i will show you a video uh, made by miss april belaras so uh, let's watch the video explanation and discussion made by miss april belaras regarding about uh, depreciation average method. So this is the video made by Miss April B. Bellara. So uh, week nine business mathematics for uh, topic is depreciation average method. Reduction in the value of asset with the passage of time or this is the process of deducting the total cost of something expensive you bought for your business. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but instead of doing it all in one tax year, you write off parts of it over time. So when you depreciate assets, you can plan how much money is written off each year, giving you more control over your finances. So the number of years over which you depreciate something is determined by its useful life. Halimbawa, laptop. Okay, a laptop is useful for about five years. Ayan. So the depreciation. Kailangan mo na yung, ano, ano. So for tax depreciation, different assets are sorted into different classes, and each class has its own useful life. So if your business uses a different method of depreciation for your financial statements, you can decide on the asset's useful life based on how long you expect to use the asset in your business. Okay? So we have here, since we our topic is about the average method, talking about depreciation, all right? So, we have the average method. So, first one is the straight line method. Okay, so in the straight line method, the depreciation expense is distributed in equal amounts over the estimated useful life of the asset or the property. Okay, so our formula is equal to RR equals to C minus S over N where wherein R is the depreciation per year, C is for the original cost of the asset, C or S is crap value, and the new N is yung estimated useful life, okay? Okay, so bago pala tayo pumunta dito, may nakalimutan tayo, okay? Ayan, so, so we talk about depreciation, right? Ayan. So, 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 ano pala yung asset na sinasabi natin kanina? Diba? Yung nabanggit kasi natin kanina na depreciation is the reduction in the value of asset. So, what is an asset? Okay. So, an asset is anything with a dollar value or money value, okay, with the I, IRS, which also refers to assets as property. So, it can be, it can be either tangible or intangible, right? So, yung mga property na yan, pwede intangible or intangible. So, ano ba yung tangible? Tangible asset can be touch, okay? So, yan, kalahin ng office building, delivery truck, computers, yan, yung pwede mong mahawakan. And intangible asset cannot be touched, but it can still be bought or sold. So, examples are patent, copyright, other intellectual property. So, yun yung mga intangible asset. Okay? 
So both of these assets can be depreciated. So in the case of the intangible assets, the act of depreciation is what we call amortization. Okay? So ano ba yung mga klase ng assets na pwede mo depreciate? Okay, so the IRS sets guideline, guidelines for what types of assets can you depreciate. So it needs to meet the following criteria. You own it, you use it in your business or to produce income. You can determine its useful life. You expect it to last more than one year. And we also have some common examples of assets depreciated by small businesses includes the following vehicles, real estate, equipment, office furniture, computers, and so on. Okay? So, yun yung mga klase ng assets that you can depreciate. Okay? So, what is a depreciation schedule? So, meron din depreciation schedule. Okay? So, a depreciation schedule is a table that shows you how much each of your assets will be depreciated over the year. So it typically includes this information. So a description of the asset, date of purchase, the total price you paid for the asset, expected useful life, depreciation method used, okay? Salvage value. When you salvage value, how much you can sell it for once it's past its useful life. Example, how much a scrap yard would pay for your old work, uh, work track. No? Okay. So that is yung uh, about sa asset and depreciation. So there are several types of depreciation. We have the, uh, when we talk about um, depreciation, average method, we have the first one is the straight line method, okay? So straight line method, the depreciation expense is distributed in equal amounts over the estimated useful life of the asset or the property. So this is the formula, R equals to C minus S over N. So yung R natin is the depreciation per year, C is the original cost of the asset, S yung scrap value, at saka yung N is estimated useful life. Okay, so let's have an example. So an automobile was purchased for 570,600 pesos and has an estimated useful life of five years. Okay, so it will last five years lang daw. And the scrap value is 35 thousand and one hundred pesos so determine the depreciation expense per year using the straight line method okay so paano natin gagamitin ito by determining the uh, depreciation expense kada taon so using the straight line method so first is we have to determine the given Okay, so what are the given? We have here the original cost of the asset, of course. So how much is the original cost of our asset here? In this problem, it is 578,600 pesos. Another one is the scrap value. Scrap value niya ay 35,100 pesos. And yung estimated useful life which is 5 years okay so um, solution yung solution natin using the formula yeah. so this is equal now to 578,600 minus the scrap value which is 35,100 over the estimated useful life, which is five years. Okay? So, put it lang natin dito. So, this is equal to 543. Wait. 
tunggusin aja nih pada langsung aja deh. So this is now equal to five right, over five. So the depreciation per year for the auto automobile is now equal to one hundred eight thousand seven hundred pesos. So yan yung depreciation niya. So, within 5 years. So, syempre naman, from your 578,000, nagamit mo naman yung susakyan ng limang taon, siguro naman, nasulit mo siya. Okay? So, wag mong sayangin yung yung pag-depreciate niya. Kasi, uh, nasa sa'yo naman yan kung um, nagamit mo ng gusto yung auto na yan. Alright? Okay. And we have the other one, service hours method. Okay, so dito naman, the depreciation is estimated on the productive capacity of the asset per service hour. Okay, so it assumes that the productive hours decreases. Okay, so the productive hours decreases as the property becomes older. Okay, ayun. So, let's have an example. Oh, ito. A machine was bought in the amount of 3,025,400 pesos and has an estimated useful life of 10 years. All right. So, if the scrap value of the machine is 122,900 pesos, what is the annual depreciation of the machine Assuming that the 10 years useful life of the machine is estimated to be 36,000 hours as tabulated here. Dito. So, yung unang taon, since ta 10 taon yung useful ng machine, right? So, on the first year, 5,000. Second year is 4,8. Yung third, 4,6. Pang-apat, 4,3. And then, fifth, 4 Yung pang anem, 3, 6, 7th year is 3, 2, 8th year, 2, 7, 9th year, 2, 2, and then on the 10th year is 1,600. Okay? So, given na yung original cost of our asset, so ano yung original cost niyan? 3,025,400 pesos. Okay? And we also have we also have the scrap value which is equal to 122,900 and estimated useful life is 10 years. Okay? 10 years or this is 36,000 hours service. Okay. So for our solution, so we have this one. The formula na then substitute lang yung mga value. So, 3,025,400. Okay. Okay. Minus 122,900 over 36,000 hours. Okay. So, yung R natin is 80.63 per hour. Okay. So, the annual depreciation can be determined by multiplying the depreciation per hour to the total operating hours of the machine per year. So, the, uh, the schedule of annual depreciation is, so, so on the first year, 5,000 times yung, nakuha natin na depreciation per year, which is 80.3, okay? 
Yan. 80.3 pesos kada oras. So, this is equal to 403,150. Second year is equivalent to 378,024. Third year, 370,898. Fourth year is 346,709. On the fifth year, 322,520. And the sixth year is 290,268. Seventh year, 258 and 16 pesos. On the eighth year, 217. 1,701 and on the ninth year, 177,386 and on the final year, the 10th, kasi abot lang daw yung machine ng taon, so 129,008 pesos. Okay, so that is the schedule of the annual depreciation per year. So, uh, binase natin siya doon sa per hour ng depreciation in every year. Right, and we also have the prod product units method. So the product units method relates the depreciation to the estimated number of units that will be produced by the asset during its useful life. Okay, so instead of expressing the useful life in terms of year or service hours, it is now expressed in number of products made or produce. Okay? So, yan yung product units method. So, example, yan, a motor has a useful life of three years in normal operation and it costs 175,000 pesos with scrap value of 25,000 pesos. The number of cubic meters produced each year for 16 hours operation daily is estimated as the following. So since atlong taon lang siya, on the first year, 397,000 cubic meters. Second year is 357,000 cubic meters. Third year, 286,000 cubic meters with a total of 1,040,000 cubic meters. So this time, we have to get the volume, okay? So we have to, we have to get the volume and volume or the production in, ano yun? Production in cubic meters to determine the depreciation, okay? To determine the depreciation per cubic meter of production. Okay, so ano ba yung mga given natin? Given na yung um, given na yung original cost ng asset which is magkano? 175,000 and then we have the scrap value. And yung scrap value niya, magkano? 25,000. And we also have the estimated useful life, which is equivalent to 1,040,000 cubic meters. All right? So... Let's show a solution for this using the same formula. Ayan. So, substitute natin yung mga values. So, 175,000 minus the scrap value, which is 25,000 over 1,040,000. Ayan cubic meter. So, yung depreciation per year is 0.144 per cubic meter. Okay? So, ano yung schedule? So, the schedule
So we have the, oh, dito na lang, schedule of annual depreciation. Okay. At sya gan yung sulat mo, medyo hindi maganda. Hindi pala medyo. Hindi talaga siya maganda. Okay. So, ayan. So, yung schedule of annual depreciation is ayan, on the first year so, 397,000 times ayan is 57,168. So, Yung second year naman, 357,000 times, so this is equal to 51,408. And on the third year, we multiply it by 286,000, okay, times 0 0.144. This is equal to... 41,184. So, yan yung schedule of annual depreciation in three years. Okay? Tang motor. Okay. So, reducing charge method. So, we have some of years digit method or the SYDM. So, the sum of years Digit method of depreciation is one of the techniques which is based on the assumption that the particular depreciable of the asset is normally more productive when it is new, just like any machines or equipment. So as it becomes old, its productivity decreases. Okay, so yung formula natin is SYD equals the base amount times the useful life over some of the years digits. So base amount is the difference between the original cost and the salvage value. Useful life is the useful life of the assets in year, yung engine. And then the sums of years digit is equal to the n times the quantity of n minus 1 over 2 in 2a. Okay. Let's an example. A brand new machine is worth worth 450,000 pesos with a salvage value of 50,000 pesos up to four years. Prepare depreciation table. Prepare a depreciation table. Okay. Schedule of the machine. So, meron tayong um, await oh, lang. So, dito, Yung bago, tayo, bago natin gawin yung annual depreciation schedule, identify muna natin yung given. Okay. So, yung given dito, we have the base amount, of course. What is the base amount? So, kunin natin dito yung, yung worth ng bagong machine na 450. Kasi nga di ba napanggit kanina na the base amount is the difference. Ayan. The difference between the original cost and the salvage value. So we have to get the difference of the original cost. Minus 50,000. Kaya yung base amount ay 400,000. Okay. Ayan. So the base amount is 5. And we also have the useful life, which is four years. And, and then we have the sum of years, digits. Okay, so four divided by ten. Yeah. Now we have the annual depreciation schedule. So, apat na taon. So, sa unang taon, yung base amount natin ay 400,000. So, pesos yan. 
Ayan. Pare-pareho hanggang sa apat, pang apat na taon. And then we have the depreciation factor okay, for over 10. 3, 10, 2, 10, that was not 10. Okay. So we have the annual depreciation times the base amount, which is 400,000. Okay, this is now equal to 160. So the accumulated depreciation is 160,000 pesos. Okay. For the second year, 3 over 10 times 400,000. So the accumulated depreciation, dito na lang natin diretso. I wait. So... Wait, hindi na siya kasha. This is equal to 120,000. Okay? 120,000 plus yung accumulated depreciation ng unang taon, kaya 280,000. Okay? And on the third year, so this is equal to 80,000. So the accumulated depreciation now is 360,000. And on the fourth year, so this is equal to 40,000. So the accumulated the accumulated depreciation now is 400,000. Okay? So, ayan. What about the double declining balance method or the DDBM? So, this is uh, somewhat like an ordinary state line method of depreciation. First, we find the depreciation rate using the straight line method. Okay. Yan yung una. Then multiply it by 200% or double the percentage of the depreciation. So, ito ay DDBM. Okay. So, depreciation rate, DR equals to 2 over N. So, yung DR natin is depreciation rate. Yung N is estimated just for life of the asset. Okay. So, example, an asset has an original cost of 120,000 pesos with an estimated useful life of six years. What is the estimated scrap or salvage value at the end of its useful life? So, after that, construct a depreciation schedule using double declining balance method. Okay? So, round the amounts to the nearest peso. So we have we have the given. Ba yung mga given dito sa problema na to. Okay, so we are given. So we have we have the original cost. Okay, so we have the original cost of your asset equals to one hundred twenty thousand. Tapos yung scrap value na s scrap value. Kaya yung scrap value niyan. 20,000 and then estimated useful life 6 
use. So, what are the formula? And what is the formula? So, ito yung solution natin. So, dr, so yung depreciation rate is equal to 2 divided by rate now. This is a small letter n. Diba? Oh, Mahilo pa yung dito ngayon. Divided by the estimated useful life of the asset. Denoted by small letter n. So, 2 divided by 6 equal to 1. Okay. And we have the for the depreciation schedule here Okay, so ito na yung depreciation schedule natin. So sa apat na ay sa aning na taon. So ito ay So the cost is I wait. On the first year, the cost is 120,000. Yung depreciation rate is one third. Alright. So, this is 400, I mean 40,000. So, the accumulated depreciation is 40,000. So, the book value is 80,000. And on the second year, 80,000, the cost is 80,000 from the book value. So the depreciation rate is one third. So the depreciation here is 26,667. Okay. So accumulated depreciation is 66,600. 76. So this is equal to 53,333. On the third year, so it costs 53,333 with the depreciation rate of one third. Depreciation is 17,778. So the accumulated depreciation here is 84,445. And this is 35,550 So, sa apat na taon, the cost is 35,555. One the depreciation rate. So, the depreciation now is 11,852. With the accumulated depreciation of 96,297, the book value is 23,703. So, fifth year, it costs 23,703 with one third depreciation rate. Depreciation is 7,901 with accumulated depreciation of 104,198. So the book value now is fifteen thousand eight hundred, and this is the cost for the sixth year. Okay, with one third depreciation, so your depreciation na niya ay five thousand two hundred sixty-seven. With the accumulated depreciation of one hundred nine thousand four hundred sixty-five. So this is now ten thousand five hundred. 35 book value. So, paano natin yan nakuha? Nanghilo na kayo, no? So, we have here the computation. 
Okay, para mas magawa niyo yung activity niyo later on. For year one, so, <clears throat> R, this is equal to 120,000 times one third, so this is equal to 40,000. C, and what did you see? Yung original cost, okay? That is the original cost, which is the final 120,000 minus 40,000. Kaya ito ay 80,000. Diba? Year 2, R equals to 80,000 times one third so equals 26,667 you see so 80,000 minus 26,667 okay 53,333 times one third rate of depreciation equals to 17,778. Getting the value of C, 53,333 minus 17,778, and that is 35,555. Year 4. Ganun din. So, yung R natin. 35,000. 555. 5, 5, 5, 5, 2 na. 1 3rd. 11,852. Okay? And then yung C. 35,555 minus 11,852. And that is equivalent to 23,703. And then year 5, okay, use 23,703 times one third of rate of depreciation, 7,901. Okay, so tuloy natin dito, C. 23,703 minus minus 7,000 901. Okay. So this is equal to 15,800. Okay. And then year 6 are equals to 15,802 times one third rate of depreciation equals to 5,267. Okay, then you see so for the cost of for the original cost of the asset. Fifteen thousand eight hundred two minus five thousand two hundred sixty-seven. So this is now equal to ten thousand five hundred thirty. Okay, so pareho ba siya doon sa table natin? Yung depreciation schedule? Yes. Alright, so that is how to compute. And now, for your activity, requirements ninyo for this week, answer the following problem. Number one. So meron kayong uh, seven problems for this. Okay, so... Ayan. 
seven problems. Okay? So, madali lang siya kung susundan ninyo yung discussion natin. Uh, anyway, printin naman ang mga to sa modules. Okay? So, now we have watched the video discussion made by Ms. April Villaras. That was a uh, uh, wonderful discussion. So, let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint presentation. So, from the video, um, from April also discuss your uh, activity. So, total of seven items as well. So, again, for week nine, we have explained the concept of depreciation. Also, summarize how a company would determine the appropriate depreciation method to use and also differentiate between the straight line, service hour, and units of production of calculating depreciation. So, thank you once again, everyone. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You may um, directly ask me at Facebook Messenger and also directly ask me at school as well. So, thank you once again, everyone, and God bless.